I'm going to show you how I like to incorporate recall training into my walks every day too. So I do a couple things. Um, on my regular structured walks, I just use a regular six foot leash. Um, and when I break the dog, um, I like to wait until the dog has their nose in something and they're not paying any attention to me at all. And that's when I'll use my recall word. I, I say with me, some people say come here, whatever the word is, doesn't matter. Um, but recall, right? So everybody waits to use their recall when the dog gets out of the house, runs out of the door and you're like, Fido, come back, you know, here, here. And it, it, you can't wait to train recall um, in the game, you know, in, in real life. I mean, it, we, that's why we do all this stuff. We practice for the game. Um, so if you're practicing, if you're going for a walk every day and you throw some recall work into your, into your walk, it's again, it's just training in disguise. That's like my motto. Like everything should just be training in disguise. So your dog thinks they're having fun, throw in some recall in there. Okay. So, um, if you're just out on your regular walk with a six foot leash, when you get to the point where you're going to give your dog a break and you stop, dog goes into a sit. Okay. You go, Ellie, break. You can break. Break. Good girl. Okay. Now, okay, so now she's, she's sniffing over here doing her thing, right? So whenever she's not paying attention to me, that's when I want to practice recall. So I, I have some treats in my pocket. I have the leash on her. I'm setting her up so, so if she blows me off, I can use the leash to reel her into me. So, you know, she's playing with this stick totally totally not into into me come on put your head back in you can break go on break get it. what do you got what do you got what do you got oh yeah okay so that's a pretty pretty big uh competing motivator right there that big stick or to come to me so ellie come ellie come out come yes good girl okay again okay all right check it out Ellie, oh come yes good girl good girl well, obviously she's pretty good at it However, all right so part of that last video um with the um with the six foot leash so i like to do this also so like once a week i don't know what well, i don't know how often i do it i try to do it at least once a week especially when i'm doing training with my own dogs um I like to get like a 15 foot or like a 25 foot leash um, and put on the dog and basically the entire walk is a break. They get to do whatever they want. They get to, you know, I do, I usually do this late at night because I let them go in people's yards, especially when I'm doing the e-collar training. Um, I use like really long leashes. I let them go in people's yards, do whatever they want, but I practice tons of recall. So basically I got a 15 foot leash on this dog and the whole walk just is, um, I say break, they get to go do what they want to do. When they're not paying attention, just like when they're on the six foot leash, I practice recall. And then when they come back to me, then I release them again. So just all, same thing in the other video, just with a 15 foot leash, not much structure at all to the walk, but it's kind of, again, it's training in disguise, all right? So break. Just adding distance, you know? So before the six foot leash, they're right next to me. Now she's a little bit further away across the street, all right? Ellie, come. Pull me off. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Out. Yes. Good girl. Okay, you can break. All right. Break. Come on. All she wants to do is play with a stick. She wants me to tug with her. All right, so if we were walking.
Good break. Are we come? Yes, good girl. So she thinks it's a big party, but we're we're, we're training. So again, the, the more she's not paying attention to you or your dog's not paying attention to you, that's the best time to, to do it, is to throw in your recall. Because that's what's going to happen in real life. Another thing you can try out on your walks, um, if your dog has a solid touch or a solid place command, um, whenever you have the opportunity, you get like a tree stump, um, rocks, picnic benches, park benches, whatever, tables, anything that's kind of elevated, um, try to get the dog to jump up on it. Um, so Ellie's got a really good place command. Um, I haven't done this on this rock with her, but we'll see what happens. But here's the rock. Ellie, please. Ellie, please. Come on. Please. You can do it. Please. Yes. Ellie, sit. 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 We got chickens in the background, too. So, do stuff like this when you're out on your walk with your dog. Get them on stuff like this. Real good confidence booster. Okay, let's go. Ellie. Place. Ellie, place. Place. Oh, can you get all the way up? Place. Yes. Good girl. Break. Ellie, place. Ellie, place. Please. Come on, Ellie. Please. Ah, please. Come on, you can do it. Please. Yes. Good girl. Sit. 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 Let's go. Do this five times on your walk every day, right? At the end of the week, that's what, 35 times? At the end of the month, it's 140 reps. Um, guys, they learn everything through repetition and pattern. If you're waiting to get your reps in when your dog gets off leash and someone leaves the door open or the gate in the backyard, you're gonna fail miserably, miserably. So if you're going out and spending the time walking the dog, work on your recall on your walk. You work on your leave it command. You work on your auto sits. You work on your, your heel, the dog's right next to you. Um, there's so many things and then you add the distractions the distance the duration you do this every day and the reps happen um you want to be a dog trainer um you know give me your dog i'll get 2500 reps in in a week you're going to get in like you know like i said 100 you know so the more reps you do the more repetition you do the more shit looks like this awesome she's crushing it Hope this helps. Yeah.